Next, we are going into the real ignites. Not that those weren't entertaining enough, but our first up is Edric Henning with Layperson Locksmithing. Welcome, Edric! pieces that may help save you some money and cause some aggravation. Remember, locksmiths are not wizards, keys are not magic walnuts. <laughs> I started out locksmithing at about the age of seven. I bought a huge box of uh, keys at a flea market. By 12, I picked my first locks. I uh, managed to modify a key to fit my sister's car, and I'd also made a master key for a, a type of padlocks that I was showing previously. Um, one thing about locksmithing is they do a lot to try to keep the secrets secret. Well, the industry and locksmiths alike believed very much that if they let the secrets out, the criminals will win. Well, I got into locksmithing pretty early, but I'm, I'm in good company. There was even an orangutan at a, uh, a zoo that picked his way out of his garage and became an honorary member of the Locksmithing Association. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of back to the, uh, the, the secrets and such. Uh, it was actually more than just the locksmiths and locksmithing associations. Um, it was also law enforcement and the, the federal agencies also tried to pass laws to keep people from taking locks apart and installing their own locks. One thing about secrets is, do they keep you secure? No. You remember the, big, the bicycle locks that are open with a big pen? Um, <laughs> people paid a lot of money for those things, and they, uh, the, the, the company had relied too much on the secrets. <laughs> I went and bought one of those locks just to see how they failed. Other cases of failure actually were also some of the Medico locks uh, were super high security and they failed pretty well. One problem with uh, security and uh, two full slides is the fact that there's, there's a simple calculation. It's security equals time plus talent plus tools and determination. You can control time and opportunity, but none of the other ones. They come with them all at the, at the get-go. Uh, I've got some diagrams here showing the real basics of what's in a lock, it's four little bits of brass that are what keeps the lock from turning. When they raise the right levels, the key works. Raise wrong if they don't. Lock bumping, you may or may not have heard about, is a method for basically bypassing that. It's really a physics hack. They uh, basically make a special type of key which batches all the pins, and they uh, fly apart kind of like the Newton's cradle up in the upper corner there, um, and their lock turns. It's not a huge problem because criminals really prefer to kick in doors and, and things like that. They, it's really kind of the, the geekier ones that do anything with them. <laughs> um, let's go over some of the real basic things of what doesn't work. Uh, bad security hygiene. If you're not locking and checking all your doors and arming your alarms, it will fail. You have a whole lot of locks that don't lock your windows and, and, uh, and uh, other entrances. It doesn't really work. Uh, what does work? You want to limit who has access. Know who has your keys. Um, ch change your locks when you move into a place. Uh, you can upgrade the door strikes. You can also put a security wraps around doors to make it much harder for them to, as they say, they like to kick in doors. So I, I've added here a little bit about there are bump proof locks. Uh, it's kind of a way to soak you to get more money out of you. They're bump proof. They're bump resistant. If you're really concerned, talk to a real locksmith. They can they can steer you the best way. Uh, really good practices. Always copy original keys and just dash the originals away. Do not use them over and over and over again until you get worn and then make your copies. That really sucks. Uh, use a real locksmith to make your copies. Walmart will probably have to go back five times. <laughs> uh, other factors about them. If you have a double cylinder lock, one where you have to use a key to get out of right inside the house, make sure there's a spare key for your family members in case of fire or danger. Um, also, never install your knob set with the key upside down. Uh, most, a lot of times, are just shipped one way. You can go to a locksmith and have them reverse them. Um, lubrication. A lot of times, people think the lock is failing. Oftentimes, it's just a really badly cut key. Uh, you can lubricate them. Usually, dry graphite is the best thing. Um, you're locked out of your car, and you think uh, you're gonna uh, just slim jim it. Make sure you use. Uh, the passenger side. That way when you mock up all the wiring and everything else inside the door, you can convince yourself less. 
Also, don't bash out the teeniest window in your car, thinking you're saving yourself money. Those could be $300 to $800 a piece, and you could have just spent $65 to have a watch them come out. Um, pretty much uh, beyond that, uh, I've got some links up here, but if you really have questions, you can find me at Collab, that's Q-E-L-A-B.net, Adric at Collab.net, and I'll post the slides on there too, so you can actually see the large amount of content I put up there. As you can see, I'm a first-time igniter. <laughs>